Hey guys, new video today. Going to be doing uh, something a little bit different, as you can see from this. Yu-Gi-Oh! box opening. Something I've been wanting to do for a while, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, as you guys can see, before I get opening into the box, uh, this is a, like I said, I've been wanting to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! card openings um, for a while now um, because I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and I thought that this would be sort of a uh, cool something to add some variety to the channel. So as you guys can see, this is the new Fist of Gadgets uh, box set. Um, you know, this is a set that I've actually been really interested in opening because there's a lot of support for this set that I plan on using in some of my decks and everything. Plus there's some cards that, you know, I heard a lot of good support things and I've heard a lot of good things about this pack. Um, about the set. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Um, uh, one thing to note about this set that's a little bit different from the other traditional booster box sets is that this is a special edition set, meaning that unlike most booster boxes where you come with um, nine cards per pack and five cards and with 24 packs, this actually only comes with five cards um, per pack, which is kind of a letdown, but that's only because the cards from this set are originally from uh, the OCG or the Japanese set rather than the TCG, which is the American set. So hence why they don't give us um, as many cards. I'm just going to keep that kind of out to the side for now. Uh, we'll get started with the first pack. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly what are the more valuable cards. That's the kind of another thing about these kind of tricky, uh, the special edition sets. kind of hard to know exactly what uh, the most valuable cards are so we'll just get into it so we got all right so we got brotherhood of the fire tiger fist uh get, i think there are some reprints in this set so it looks like um but yeah so we got defcon bird uh which is a um cypher's card which i might use for one of my upcoming decks so yeah if you guys can see the image of that i do love the print art with this so we'll keep those off the side we got the classic green gadget we got the class we have um, Aphromage Legacy, and we have the Fire Fortress atop Lion Peak. So again, it's kind of hard to know exactly what are the more expensive cards, but for the moment, I'll just keep, you know, I'll pull uh, stuff out. My thing I'll do is I'll just, any really big pulls and everything, I'll keep in the, the center of the camera, as you guys can see up top. Um, but any of the other stuff, I am going to set up the side or I'll showcase it at the end. So let's see. We've got Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster. Chrono Mage Sorcerer, so it looks like we also have some of the reprinted stuff from, I guess it's not all from uh, the Japanese, I guess there are some reprints, I guess they just had to fill the sets, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Red Gadget, Gold Gadget, and the Archfiend's Awakening Monster card. I heard about the support for these cards, that they're making, um, I guess, um, Summon Skull support, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at that, yeah, pretty sick, am I right? Hopefully you guys can get close enough. It's kind of hard to tell from the camera angle. I do apologize. But that's actually a nice pull. So I'm actually going to keep that off more to the side away. Um, another cool thing I do like about this set is the fact that, um, like I said, since I'm not really sure what the bigger pulls are, I'm going to keep them all together. Um, the thing I do like about this set is the fact that all the cards are, you know, have really nice designs and also with the effects. So at least that's a uh, nice... Oh, Sweet, Talkback Lancer. This is actually a card I've been looking for for my Cybers uh, deck that I'm using, a Co-Talker deck, which this card is really nice. Um, requires one level two or lower Cybers monster. Contribute one Cybers monster. Um, I contribute one other Cybers monster I control. Then target a Co-Talker monster in my graveyard with a different name from that monster that I attributed. Special summon it to the card to the zone this points to. It does kind of think that it requires at least a level one or two Cyverse monster to summon, but with the deck that I have, it, I can work around it. So that's nice. Uh, Fire Formation Yoko, Fire Formation, wow, I got, and uh, Gorilla and Tenki. So a lot of fire, I guess a lot of more Fire Formation cards in this set, um, but that's nothing to be bad about. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, so we'll keep those going with that. All right, so we got Elfinus, which is another good Cypress card, which I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be using. Um, requires a two level three or higher Cypress, which kind of works for my deck a little bit easier. Against three attack, 100 attack. For each card, this, for each monster, this card points to. So it can have a max of 2,600, which is nice. 
Uh, if this Link Summon card leaves the field, target a level 4 lower Cybers in your graveyard special summon for the rest of the turn. Its effects, if any, are negated and cannot be used for Link material. Not a bad card, but since my um, Co-Talker deck is all Link monsters, not the most effective. However, I do could have plans for this card in the future, but I'm, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, Yoko again. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, uh, one of my classic card, a uh, card I really like for my Predator Plants deck, but I already have like three. Uh, Subterror, and more Subterror cards, and Fire Formation Ingen, a uh, really cool card from what, I actually hear that this card's supposed to be really nice, and I do love the lighting effects this has, if you guys can see the more textures on the card, that's actually really nice, I'm gonna keep that off to the side, and actually, where is that, uh, I guess there wasn't a big pull from that last pack, I guess. So we'll yeah, keep those off the side. I'm gonna try to speed this up here, guys. I know with some of these box opening videos, they can take a really long time. I don't want this to be like an hour. So another Tenzu, another uh, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, Yellow Gadget, Gorilla again, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram this time. Again, not really sure um, if that's a big pull or not yet. Like I said, I'll keep the bigger stuff off to the side for now. And actually, I guess, um, because these have a little bit more texture, um, like I said, I'll keep them off to the side for now. And I definitely do plan on sleeving some more valuable cards. Uh, luckily, this set, um, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, guys. It's pretty early when I'm recording this. Um, normally, with these sets, like I said, it's kind of hard to tell what the more valuable cards are. But, you know, the set's been out for a couple days now, so it should be easy. Uh, so we got Scrap Reviver, Recycler, my mistake, uh, Tiger Fist, Sign Optimization, another Elfinus, which, again, I don't know if I'll keep out. I think I'll just keep one out for now, just because I don't think I'll need another one. And Fire Formation, Ultimate Fire Formation, Sinto, which... Kind of is a nice looking card. Uh, sign of optimization. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, if your Kotaku monster battles your opponent's mom, battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. During your main phase, you can immediately activate after this effect resolves. Normal summon a Cypher's monster. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Cypher's monsters. Even this card leaves the field. So, it's another Kotaku support. So. I'll, I'll keep it off to the side. I'll keep it off to the side for now, just in case. Um, you know, there are some cards that work better than others uh, for different decks and everything, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, so we got Tiger Fist again, Mythical Beast, Master Cerberus, which I heard is a, kind of a nice card for uh, some of the um, spell token monsters. Power Hole, the Moving Battery. We got Green Gadget, and we got Code Radiator. This card is actually another one that I've been looking to use for my uh, Cyverse deck, which I really do love this card. Um, so if a Cyverse monster you control would be used as a link material for a Code Talker monster, it, while this card is in your hand, it can be used as a material as well, which is really nice because there's not that many that can be used like this. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard or hand, while used for a link summoning of a Code Talker monster, you can target one monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero, also negates its effect, but if this card was on the field when used for a material, you can target two monsters instead. And that is nice. I do like that. I'm trying to find at least two of those cards um, <clears throat> for the uh, the decks. I'm actually going to keep those more off the side. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find at least two uh, cybers, uh, two code radiators for that set. So it looks like we're getting good so far. Uh, boot up order, gear change, power hold the moving battery, red gadget, fire flood rooster, and ignis heat the true Draco warrior. Um, surprising to see some more Draco warriors in this set. Um, not that many in the past, but again, uh, some sets you know have different cards and everything. So we'll just keep rolling through this video and see how it goes. Uh, silver gadget, another good classic of the gadget cards. Uh, Brother Fist uh, Spirit, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit, um, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal, or yeah, Cardinal, Radgus Slider, which I think I might keep this, I'm not sure yet, and Fire Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Peacock. Really do like that. That's a nice card as well, from what I'm told. Um, the reason I might keep Ras, uh, this guy, uh, Ras Liger, is because of his effect and his summoning requirements. He's a Link 4 um, Cyverse monster, which requires two or more monsters, but not tokens, which is kind of a harsh. 
Um, target a link monster in my in either player's graveyard. This card gains attack equal to that target's attack until the end of the turn, and you contribute any number of monster this card points to destroy an equal number of monsters um, your opponent controls. And the cool thing is it's cards, not just monsters, it's cards. And I do like that. So at the very least, I can tribute up to at least two monsters because depending on where the link zone is, if he's um, in the primary link zone or the extra monster zone, you can only do one. But if he's in one of the monster zones, you can do up to two. So that's nice. And I do like the fact he's a cypress card. Like I said, if you guys want to take a look at that. I always do love the holographics on some of these. Um, I might keep it out just because I, I was a bit hesitant when I heard he was in the set. Um, but it's always good to see um, them do a little bit something different. But yeah, we'll uh, just we'll keep going. I mean, I'm going through this pretty quick, actually. Uh, Defcon Bird again. Another Cypher's card, which, again, I'm probably just going to keep all the Cypher's stuff off to the side just so I can look over it. Um, Brotherhood of the Firefist Spirit. We got Yellow Gadget again. Gold Gadget. And we have Archfiend's Cull, the Synchro Monster supporter uh, for the Summon Skull set. So yeah, that's actually really, really nice. That is actually super cool. So I'm going to keep that, yeah. Like I said, not sure, not sure if it's anything good because with special edition sets like these, um, like I said, all the cards have the same kind of um, color design. You know what I mean? They don't have well, not color design. I guess I should say that's a that's wrong term. They have you know holographics and they have like special extra textures and things added to them. So knowing exactly what's all expensive and what isn't expensive is kind of hard to tell. Uh, so we got Yoko. Boot up order change, or gear change, my mistake. Propid Snake, which is another Cybers car, which I'll look into off the side. Uh, Swap Clerk, another Cybers. And this one actually I might use in either my Co Talker deck or when the set comes out in the future, my, um, gosh, what is it? Uh, the Ignister, uh, or the AI um, Cybers decks. Because this guy actually might be pretty good. It's um, if he's used as a link material, you can have that link monster lose 500 attack points to draw a card. Kind of an e you know, simple easy effect and with a good payoff. And uh, fire formation Yink uh, Tenkai. So a lot of old fire formation cards. Um, so far actually, I'm getting from just from looking at the stuff I'm looking at right now, guys. We got a lot of everything that I actually need uh, from the set more of the smaller stuff. I'm still trying to, like I said, I'm hoping for another code radiator and I'm still looking for shooting code talker from this set as well. So hopefully we get, so we got boot up corporal command dynamo swap clerk, which I'll keep that off fire formation, Tensu, red gadget and arch fiends manifestation. Holy cow. I think we actually with, with this guy now, I think we actually have, let me see here just to break away for a second. I think we actually have every no we don't have every single one of the new um arch fiend monsters we're still we're missing the link one but i think if i can find that if i find the link that would be kind of cool so break this one open let's see what we get all right yellow gadget gorilla tiger king cerberus and ingen again so another decent one uh still looking for that shooting code i'm hoping to find it i really am I want to find it. Oh, all right. Going into this set. Like I said, I'm sorry if I'm speed running it, guys. I'm trying to, you know, don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Um, Dynamo King, the true Draco fighter. Oh, Spool Coat. I completely forgot about this card. This is one I was looking for for my cybers. Um, essentially, when an opponent's monster clears an attack, while I have three or more cybers in my graveyard, which will be super simple for my deck. Um, negate said attack and then special summon three spool tokens to your field. The good thing I like about this is that they count as cybers monsters, which some of my uh, mon cards in my deck require specifics. So that's really cool. I'm trying to look for at least two. It'll help me replace a uh, scapegoat as well. So that's a nice um, tier, sub tier final battle. Chronolic Sorcerer and Archfiend's Ascent, the Link Monster. Wait, is that the one we're missing? Hold on. I think so. Oh, no, wait, it was a ritual. Okay, my mistake. So, yeah, we have the ritual, we have the synchro, the fusion, and we now have the Xyz. I don't actually know if there is a link one for this deck now that I think about it, but I think that might have been why I got confused because ritual monsters and link monsters are both blue cards. So, that might be why I got uh, confused. So, we'll see what happens. All right, so, oh, get these. 
guys out of the way, sorry. <laughs> uh, gold gadget again, power hold the moving battery, arrow mage goliath, green gadget, and another fire formation Sinto. So, kind of a, seems it's slowing down a little bit, but hopefully we can pick back up with some cards that I definitely need. Um, would definitely be nice. Let's get right into it. And it looks like we're a little bit over halfway done with this set already, so hopefully we get lucky. Uh, Bear, Fiendess, another Elf Pass, which um, I think I'll just, like I said, keep that off to the side for now, just for in case. Um, Maiden Majesty, the True Draco, and another Archfiend's Awakening. So not uh, a Link monster. Like I said, don't know if there is one, but if there is, um, you know, hopefully we'll find it. So we're going to pop this next one open. Sign and optimization. Code Talker. Okay, yeah, this is another one I was looking for. I completely forgot about. Uh, with the Code Talker sets, um, there are a bunch of other Code Talker monsters like Enco, Deco Talker, um, and all the other ones. But this is the first ever. This is just Code Talker. Nothing um, really special. I do like it because its effects are nice. Uh, 500 attack points for each monster's card points too. So I can have a max of the 2300, so I can have the 2300 that all the other Cyphers uh, Code Talker monsters are known for, but also can be destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effects while it points to a monster. So that's nice. Keep that out to the side. Uh, we got another Rast Liger, which is nice. I think I'm only going to run one of them, so I'll put that off to the side. Um, Latency, which is a nice one. Might see what that could do. And another Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior. Very nice. Very, very nice. Again, I always like it when, you know, I always keep surprising myself because I always forget about some of these cards that I forget, so we'll see. Uh, another Talkback Lancer. Um, again, I think I'm only going to run one of those, if anything, so. Uh, Prophet Snake. Keep that off the side. Latency again, which is nice. Cynet Conflict, which is a counter trap I might, and then another uh, Ram. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to, like I said, with some sets, there are cards you want to run, some you don't. I don't think I'm going to run Conflict simply because of the, how limited it is, the specification. So basically it says, what, if you guys can look, you know, check it out for a second, really nice. Um, basically, when a spell or trap or monster, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated while I control a code talker monster, negate the activation if you do banish it. And if you do, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects with the same name as that banished card until the end of the next turn. Which is nice. Um, and it's a decent counter trap, but can only use one once per turn, which does kind of stink. You know what? I'm actually going to go against my own opinion. I'm actually going to think maybe I'll run one. One, maybe two, if I find some in the next uh, couple of packs that we get. So we'll see. So, let's see here. Off the side. Gorilla, Spirit, Bear, Hidden City, and another Archfiend's Call. Man, we're getting a lot of the Archfiend ones. Uh, the Hidden City is more the sub-terror sets, which I don't know if that's specific. I think that actually came out in the TCG. I don't think OCG. So I guess some of these are still um, with us, you know, but that makes sense. Code Talker again, gonna keep you off to the side. Command Dynamo, Silver Gadget, Optimization, and the Fire Fist Swan. This is a new one. We haven't seen this guy yet. Pretty cool. Gotta say that's nice. Um, some of the more unique ones might be. So it lo uh, looks like we're down to the last. Let's get this box out of the way. It looks like we're down to the last four packs, you guys. So, uh, I'm trying to think, what should I do? I think I'll just, you know, sometimes I like to shuffle them up, sometimes not, but let's see what we get. Oh, really? I'm real. I'm hoping I still get one shooting code talker. If I get one shooting code, I'll be happy. Uh, Silver Gadget, Yellow Gadget, Rast Liger, Boot Up Change, and Peacock. Son of a gun, another one. As soon as I, when I saw the yellow and I saw and the I mean the blue, I knew it was gonna be um, a Link monster, but I was so that's so disappointing. Like I said, I'm I basically got all the other stuff that I think that I need. Let me see actually, um, just really quick. Yeah, two. I think the only cards that I'm still looking for are one code back code radiator, um, one more spool code, and the shooting code talker. So essentially, I've gotten all except for those three. So I'm hoping. Please hoping that I get it. Um, so let's see. 
conflict. Shooting code talker, just as I was saying it. Okay, nice. Um, code commando, swap clerk, and elephant, which I think that's probably the first time we pulled this guy. So we'll see if he's worth anything. Uh, conflict, I'm gonna keep that one off to the side again, just to see if I'm gonna know it. But shooting code talker, I'm only gonna run one of this because I normally only run one of each of the, sh uh, the code talker monsters, uh, just so that way it's not too crazy. But this card, I do love. I've been waiting for this guy to come out because it's such a good card. Two or more Cypress monsters is a link three. At the start of the dance, at the battle phase, you can activate this effect. This battle phase's card can make attacks to your opponent's monsters up to the number of monsters this card points to plus one. So it gets its original attack, but if it's also pointing to any of the monsters linked here. So if it's in the main monster zone and it's next to the extra monster zone, you can have this card can attack up to three times, which is really nice. Um, but when it attacks, but it can only attack um, opponent's monsters only. And this card loses 400 attack points after each bat. Um, is it during or after the damage calculation? After or during that damage calculation only. So it's nice that it does get those additional attacks, but after each during each attack, it does lose attack points, which does kind of stink. Um, but also at the end of the battle phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed by this card by battle. So that is kind of nice. So if your opponent's field is like you know filled with weak monsters or something, and you have this guy out. You can take all three of those, like say three monsters out and then draw three cards once after the battle phase, which I love. That is such a good effect. And the card work isn't that bad either. So yeah, nice. So we did get the card that we need. Um, slow, we got two packs left, two packs. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll get the spool code and the code radiator. If we get those two, I will be happy. So rooster, sorcerer, red gadget, gold gadget, and a new fire formation, do my. Again, never seen this card, so I'm gonna keep that off. So, last pack, you guys, last pack. So, hopefully, uh, you know, last pack, guys. So, hopefully, we're gonna get lucky. Please get lucky, because I need those cards. Okay, so I'm not even gonna look at them. We got five cards. Not gonna look, just gonna flip them open one at a time. Rooster. Cardinal, Tiger King, Deathcon, and the final card, Ling Peak again. So we didn't get all the cards that we need from the set, but we did get a good good amount. I think, um, like I said, Code Radiator and um, uh, Spool Coat. Those are the only two that I need. And I'm, I'm sure those aren't going to be too hard to buy if I just buy offline. So yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the overall are sort of pulls, if you will. So I'm just gonna lay these guys uh, out like so for for you guys. I'm just gonna organize them by everything. And it seems we do have a lot of them too. Wow. Again, with these types of sets, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what everything is. So Peacock, yeah, there we go. Sonato, Ignin. I was gonna say, I knew we had another, we had another land and Awakening. So yeah, hopefully you guys can see all of them in the shop, but if not, I'll just go through everything. So we have one Archfiend's Manifest, two Lean Peaks, one Domain, Elephant, two Peacocks, one Swan, two Ignans, two Archfiend Calls, two Awakenings, two Ultimate Formation Sonatos, and an Archfiend's Ascent, which is really nice. I really do like that. And then obviously, as you guys can see, we have all the Cyphers cards, which I've taken the liberty of getting out and going to be using for um, for my deck, which is really nice, and I do love that. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy this um, set opening with me. Um, make sure that you guys, if you do like the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and if you guys really want to see any of my future videos, including future box openings or gaming videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that post notification bell, and a little bit of something extra that I don't normally put in some of my other videos. If you guys look at the description of this video, you guys will find a link to my, uh, e to my eBay page where if any of the cards that I do plan on selling, I will be able, you can buy them there yourselves. And I normally am a very fair person when it comes to selling cards like this. So I will see you guys next time and I'll see you later, Acolytes.